Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. We are back once more and I do apologize for the lack of episode last weekend. I was trying to fix my lag issues in the previous episode that we played. So I took a break to try and fix those. I think I've got it to a good spot now. Um, I basically just uninstalled some of the mods. Apparently my mod load, the amount of mods I was using was causing a lot of the issues and it feels significantly better. Um, I don't know if it's completely fixed but it feels like it's much better. Uh, so we're just going to play this episode and see how things go. If we, if we feel like we've got to tweak things again in the future, then we will. But having changed my mod load a little bit, we should get some like slightly different setups. I haven't really removed anything that's super integral. I think uh, I removed the bosses mod, T-Tank, um, the little tank mod for um, the the one that replaces Little Hunter. Um, the the um, Nuclear Throne um, Territorial Expansion Golden Weapons, because that wasn't really doing much. Um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully we shouldn't see quite as much lag this time around. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I've tested it a little bit and based just on this first floor already, things are feeling significantly better. So that's good. Um, and of course, we are playing as fish here. We got our rolls and such, but more importantly, we have one of my favorite starting weapons that we have on any of our characters. If you could die, please, that'd be great. Um, this this starting weapon is so fun to use. God damn, there's a lot of maggots today. What the hell's going on? Maggots are so annoying for this setup because it's so much ammo used for such a small enemy. Feels like a bit of a waste, but we're getting through. The good thing is, as you can see, it can quite easily kill multiples without too much of a worry. And we'll hope we can get some stuff that synergizes nicely with this coming up. I mean, Double Vision is already a very, very good synergistic one. But then again, I wouldn't say it's a specific synergy with this setup. It, it is just a synergy. Now, one thing I'm unsure of is, does it duplicate the whole shot or duplicate one splinter? Ow, you managed to hit me there. Yeah, I wonder if it's um, a single shot that it duplicates or if it duplicates everything. If it duplicates everything, that's kind of crazy. It's kind of hard to tell. I've seen a few duplications go on here, but it's, yeah, it's a little hard to tell. It does look like it's duplicating everything, I've got to be honest. It does seem like that's the case. Uh, I'm going to take the other crossbow here, just so I get only crossbow ammo. I'm just, it, it sets us up a little better for later. I see you there. Got you. Ooh, damn, I need to be careful. I'm taking some really bad damage right now, but that is just me on Nuclear Throne, isn't it? So I'm hoping for, like, Bouncy is sort of the one that I could really go for. Um, I think Compressed Fist could be really good. I don't know how the ammo, ammo usage will affect this setup too much, but I can't imagine it'll be too bad. Do you know what? I will take an Explosive Launcher here. I think it could be very, very good for us. I mean, for one, just for clearing rooms, but also that means we can easily get to Pizza Sewers, which I always like doing. There you go. And then we can go around and uh, get all the rads. Then we can take Heavy Crossbow here, which is a nice thing to grab. Probably going to miss out on a few things here and there. Nice bit of uh, healing from that chest there. And we can head down to Pizza Sewers. I don't think I'll do go and do the bosses, but I'll at least uh, grab the extra HP that we can get in here. We got the, um, the Health Signal Flare. I don't know what that is. I kind of want to find out. The Health Signal Flare. I've never seen this before. It's new. Oh, it literally just calls in some health. That's pretty That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, we've got this here. Racing thoughts. Secret stash is probably the best thing for us here because we can get some extra HP and stuff. Secret stash can be a little bit of a weird one, but I feel it's one of those ones that enables quite a lot of new builds because especially if you get the, uh, the one that gives you toxic immunity, that one's just so fun. It's unfortunate that we've got a few blue lightnings here, because then uh, they're basically useless. But what we'll do is we'll clear out this floor, mostly at least. We don't have to clear out the whole thing. And then we'll come back and, uh... We'll come back and grab everything. But yeah, this is just infinite ammo for a little while here, which is not a bad thing. Definitely not. It's just not really what we're looking for right now. There's a sniper somewhere. Uh, what the... I was not quite looking there, but I genuinely did not see what hit me in any way, shape, or form there. I am very befuzzled by what hit me. It was obviously one of those missiles It said that, but, like, I didn't see a missile. <laughs> I think I must have accidentally killed the dog thing with the, um, 
with the the plow with the with the truck whatever you want to call it um and then that killed it firing a missile which i still think is bullshit by the way they shouldn't fire a missile on death where the hell's the, the last enemy here or the last enemy should i say please don't be an invisible one that's really hard to find okay i found him so it's always like somewhere in the top corners with uh with a chest that's what i found at least like, I see you there. I've gotten a lot better at spotting them, at least, now. That is something that I wasn't so good at before, but I'm significantly better at now. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. <laughs> the maggots are taking over. I should really grab that screwdriver and just go to town with that for a minute. They're so much easier for killing maggots. There you go. Way better. Way better. But yeah, hopefully this time we can get some more specific mutes to our setup. Yeah, can you not, like, double fire your big shot there? You think you're a big shot? Oh, God. Okay, we're good. We're good. Health is a little low, but we're good. Um, so magazine fingers is great here. Um, fill the gauge and be rewarded. We'll go with that. I never really know how this one works, but I remember it being good. Basically, the more damage we do, the more the gauge fills. When the gauge fills, we get some cool stuff. Is it the more damage we do or the more kills we get? I can't remember specifically. Yeah, as you can see, the gauge is almost full already. I think we've got to, like, keep up pace, though. I, d I think it's not just killing. We've also got to, like, kill consecutively and quickly. I think it, like, deteriorates over time, maybe. But we've almost filled it here, look. There you go. And we get rewarded with the machine pistol here, which I'll take. Oh, we got one of these here. This should fill up our gauge quite rapidly, because it seems to be per kill, regardless of the enemy's HP. Yeah, that, that filled it up a lot. And we got you here as well. Good stuff, good stuff. Right, laser, atomic pause, fractured, and divided. Unfortunately, all of these are kind of garbage. I guess I'll take laser brain in the off chance that I end up specking more into a laser-based setup, which isn't super likely. But endgame especially, I feel like the, the laser weapons are a little more uh, endgame worthy. We've got a torch here. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. A fire-based little melee weapon there. Oh, God. Nice hit, my sir. Nice hit. Yeah, the lag's definitely subsided a lot here. Ooh, that is bad. Okay, actually, we didn't we didn't set off any of the um, the frogs there. I really thought we did. What the hell? I was told to open these chests more frequently. I didn't know why, but seemingly that is why. Awesome. We got, like, a random weapon drop out of that. That's pretty cool. That's a new feature from uh, various add-ons. Uh, I think we'll go with Secret Stash again. It's, it, we're having a, a, a rather similar run here. Oh, do you know what? We need to be very careful here, but Secret Stash is kind of ace. we got to make sure we don't accidentally kill um, this guy. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah, get him down there. Okay, awesome. Secret Stash before this stage is... One of the best things ever. I have absolutely no trouble whatsoever getting everything. So we'll go salt shaker. Vinegar. Is that everything? I think that's everything. I think a few of them did get sucked in as well. So we might have a few at the other side as well, but that was that was very nice. <laughs> that was way better than I was expecting. Okay, yeah, we got vinegar. And that's it, actually. But we got some good stuff there, as you can see. Up to 12 HP, which I wasn't expecting. Okay, we got another one of these. Needler. Whoa, what the hell? The needle is technically a, a thingy weapon, though. Bolt weapon, which is intriguing, even though it's explosive. It's definitely something new to me. This is horrible. Why are we stuck in this little corner and every single 
fire breathing motherfuckers like open our grill here. Right pain in the ass, this. Need some ammo pretty badly. We're about to level up again here. Uh, I say level up, I mean fill our gauge. There you go. We gotta keep an eye on that. We got the Infinite Pistol this time. It doesn't seem to give us like really high tier loot, it's just extra loot. But honestly, extra loot's always gonna be good, so. We got the Vortex SMG. Oh, okay. Um, the Tank Cannon, I think, was there as well. Make sure it's there. Vortex SMG. Which, I'm not quite sure what this is doing. Is it Herming? No. The Needler, the Tank Cannon. Ooh, I like that. That's uh, that's the same shots fired by the little walking tank things on the snow stage. But I, I like the idea behind this one. Ooh, God. Do not like that. So I've got to kind of tap fire it here. I got hit by a sniper then. It wasn't very good. Lots of scrap SMGs. I'm noticing that weapon shows up a hell of a lot. Shrapnel launcher. Shrapnel launcher is going to be pretty good for us here if we get like bouncy or herming, so I'll keep that with me. A lot of big snipers today. Normally we only get like one of those, maybe less. Interesting to see. Yeah, a lot of scrap SMGs. Um, I think filter teeth is a pretty good one here. Unfortunately, we're not really getting anything that, that is specific to a build or specific to our build, but nonetheless, we're getting some decent stuff. That missile needs to go, thank you. Oh god. I hate when there's an assassin running towards you and you just can't quite hit them. What the hell? Ooh. This is really good because we have extra uh, laser damage. I think this counts as laser at least. As you can see, lots of damage output. Dude, the sniper needs to absolutely heck off. Just stop. We got the big dog head. I see you there, Mr. Invisible. The split pistol. Let me check this out. That's so cool. I'm keeping that. That's so cool. That's awesome. We need double shot now. That double vision, that'd be so good. It does feel a little laggy to use, I will say. Man, we might die here. There's a lot of awkward stuff going. Does this mine through walls? Yes, it does. Okay, I'm going to keep this. This is really, really good. Do I doubt it does a lot of damage. Just because it seems like more of a utility thing. We got the short sword here. Oh god, oh god. I, I, I hate the stage. The spiders. Okay, clam shield. Do you know what? I'm taking the dip. Really not getting very good mutes at the minute. I mean, they're all good, but like, I want some specific stuff. We got the Vulcan here. Don't know what the Vulcan's doing. This is Lag City, this is. Holy hell. Absolute lag city. Ooh, IDPD rocket launcher is incredible. We'll definitely take that. Can you stop edging ever closer, please? Stop summoning more. God damn. The bar's filling so fast now. Okay, yeah, that should be all of them. They're still duplicating. Stop. You're insatiable. Is 
This is insane. I can barely get in there to get the rads. A level 8 already? What the hell? Is that everything? I think it is. Okay, now we've got to find our cube buddies, which are a little bit of a pain to find. Basically, you've got to wall hug the entire area. Which, so far, is not going so well. Got to, uh, Okay, there they are. We found them. The twins. Let's go. Okay, right. Where do we want to actually exit out to? That's the question. We can go here, which is... 2-1. Let's go 2-1. We'll go with Rabbit Paw. You see what I mean? We're getting a lot of generic and general pickups rather than anything specific. We're definitely lagging more now, uh, but I feel that's just like a byproduct of being this powerful. It's, it's, it's actually quite bad. I might need to still tweak my mods a little bit. There must be like a specific mod that's like out there that I'm using that's like known to cause a lot of lag. Because this is like, this is a lot worse than it was prior. It might just be that there's more enemies on this stage than there was before. Give me all that food. Yeah, this launch is going to carry us. Because it can't hurt us, and we don't have to be too accurate, and it can destroy walls. I see you there. Laser flat cannons kind of interesting here. Might get in there with that. Snipers coming in. I see you as well. God damn, this this pistol's still doing great work though. Even still. It's okay to eat. Well thank you. That saw blade was scaring the hell out of me then. It still is scaring the hell out of me. Goddamn, the, the cube boys are saving the hell out of me right now. There is so much going on that I cannot process. Thank you cubes for being my saviour. Honestly, I, I, I can barely focus on what's happening right now. Just get in here. Things are getting too hectic out there in the real world. There you go. Double vision. What was I asking for? Beautiful. We're level 9 already, which is kind of crazy. But you can, can you see how slowly I'm walking right now? The frame rate is just that bad. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Grenade launcher. Hmm. Interesting, but nowhere near as good as this. I will take this, and I will go. I think an extra mute right now could help a lot. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. I want no mute, please. Thank you. Um, Cossack clouds move towards enemies. I guess Grace? See, again, all generics. I don't know what's going on with our bullet-based ones, but they're not appearing. Oh, the double on that was powerful. Okay, Grace is actually pretty nice with this setup. We're able to fire quite a lot faster when there's a lot of enemies near us. Can you stop getting so close to me, dude? It's really scaring me. Man, I hate the way snipers can just snipe at you from across the entire area. 
Oh, ho, ho, mega laser cannon. There's something quite satisfying about that, but the rocket launch just really got me. It's grabbed me. Almost halfway there. Sniper. This, if I was to guess, this could be where we die. As you can see, there is a reason why I may think that. Good. Stay away from me, please. The star shard. Oh, that's a that's a melee weapon. Okay. A lot going on down here. The double shot every now and again is really helping. We got our ultra. I can't remember what Fish's ultras are. I remember one of them's like unlimited ammo upon entering the stage, but I can't remember what the others are. That's the one I always normally take, but we'll see. We don't really need infinite ammo with the setup we've got right now, because it's just ammo is coming to us in spades. Get rift, boy. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. That was a bit hectic, but we got there. Right. So we got enemies sometimes drop chests, infinite ammo, faster reload while uh, rolling, and reaching max ammo. Use... Reaching max ammo uses ammo to give you more max ammo. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> it's weird that this is the first time we've been to this stage, yet this run feels like it's been going on a while. The cubes are so strong. I'm just like walking into enemies and I'm fine. Like, I, how have I not been hit yet? I mean, I'm like in the thick of it. These things are annoying the hell out of me, these seals. Stop with your sealiness. Stop being a seal. Okay. Intriguing. What's the hell? What the hell's left? Oh, uh, you. I see. Oh, I see. Blunder cannon unlocked. Okay. Oh shit, you're not dead. That was close. We need, like, double shots as often as possible. We can't really, like, predict when we're gonna get them, but... The more the merrier, please. It's these chargey boys that are our biggest risk right now. But yeah, at the minute we effectively have infinite ammo, it's kinda great really hard for us to run out. And this launcher is just awesome. It's a little dangerous, but other than that, it's awesome. I would say, I wouldn't even say it's dangerous, it's just we're getting ourselves really up close and personal with a lot of enemies, which can, can potentially cause issues for me down the line. Oh, it's Little Hunter. I forgot you, that you existed in this in this world now. Yeah, yeah. Where, where are my cubes? Where are my cubes? You see, Little Hunter is just bullshit. Most powerful build I've ever had, and the game's like, lol, Little Hunter. He's the worst. He is the worst video game boss in video game history. He's so unfun. I'm going to put T-Tank back on because that boss sucks so much balls. 
literally the worst boss in gaming history. Terribly designed. I get that I'm salty, but from a, for even from a, a clear point of view, when he hasn't just killed me, I still think Little Hunter is one of the worst designed bosses in gaming history. He is close to delirium in one of my most despised bosses in a video game. Anyways, he brings our run to an end as he always does because he's terrible and poorly designed. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.